I want to go to a different place now. The, the minister talk, talked about the internet, um, uh, well, he, he had a proposition that it's changing human nature itself, which I thought was really interesting. Um, and I just sort of, I, I wanted to ask any of you gentlemen whether you would um, agree or have got a view on what is changing. You can look around the streets as people look into their smartphones. Technology is providing a much more introverted environment for people to engage with themselves. And so the, this is balancing out. So I agree with Malcolm to, the, to that degree that it is changing people's habits, whether it's the depth of human nature is a, is a, is a bigger call, mm. but they're certainly wanting to engage in a face-to-face -face -face activity in a much greater way than they have before. Yeah. And I don't think, and I think there's absolutely a direct correlation. Um. I think a, a number of observations. I think radio used to be the ultimate talkback media. Social media. Yeah. <laughs> but now I think every media is about feedback media. That you know, it's not just about user generated content, but that the consumer is now conditioned to want to have a say on any issue. And it's not just to say with the media, but also between their friends. So I think that's the first observation. Um, commercially, um, I saw some research recently, and we've you know, got some businesses throughout Asia but that Google is under pressure, say, in the Philippines, where social media has become such a, uh, and, and, and instant messaging has become so, so large that you no longer look at Google for a plumber, for a, a tradesperson. You, you know, essentially put it out on social media to your friends and you get a known referral within minutes. And that, that's another way that people are commercially, where they used to go to directories and to other sources of information, are starting to behave differently in terms of using, you know, in that case, social media, to make commercial decisions. Yeah. I think um, when you go to the business models of, of our industry, you have to understand that from an advertiser's point of view, any marketer's point of view, there are, two, there are two audiences. There's the passive audience and there's the active audience. The active audience is I'm looking for something. Search engines, destination websites are absolutely perfect. And that's why they've worked so well. Yeah. But for the passive market, I'm not looking for anything. But if Qantas want to convince me to get on a plane to go to LA and they've got a reduced price, they need to be in old media. Yeah, yeah, hundred. Well, and and so I think correct. what's happened, including the, the telly, the, <laughs> the whole thing has is, is shaping itself out. Totally right. Where we're, we're getting a clearer picture of what works for, for who. Yes. And this ROI thing is always there, and it always has been, by the way. I mean, people talk to me about press doesn't work. You talk to the Harvey Normans about this. Yeah. They've got a cash register at the end of every showroom that tells them how well the full page ad in our papers worked on and, Friday. And, and the That's double, the That's double your page. return on investment yeah. and what and, and till rings. And yeah. so what you've totally. got, you've got a, uh, you've got for us, for all of us, because we're all in this business, we're working the digital world like we haven't done before mm. and we're seeing real potential there. Mm. And we're for us, we're holding on to the strength of press yeah. and all of the great things that go with it. Is it fair for me to say that, um, that the, the power of the full page press ad or the power of the double page spread hasn't been sold well to the agency world? I think, um, I, I think the, the, the fault there lies clearly with us. And look, again, because we've had the time to think this, through, this thing through and we're getting our storyline right, not only externally but internally inside our organisations, when you spend three quarters of an hour with a newspaper, whether it be in print or digital, you're talking about engagement. Yeah. And I'm not going to pay you on a per click basis for that. It's a different thing. But over here, in the website world, yes, that's the way the business model will work. Mm. So this engagement, and I think advertisers, big advertisers, who are really dependent on creating store traffic, whether it's real or virtual, understand this. Yes. And they're saying, now, we, this is a multimedia thing. We've got multi-platforms available to us. We're working our way through. Now, it's up to us, as newspaper operators, to put our hand up and make a very articulate case, which I believe we can. Chris, how's your full-page press ads going? They're going very well. Look, a guy, uh, Richard Goiter, the boss of West Farmers, I, I had a chat with Richard fairly recently, and he said to me that their objective was, th three or four years ago, was to be out of print 
within three or four years. Yeah. And I said, I said, ah, oh, how's that going? Yeah. And he, he said, look, we can't get out of it. He said, it's, he said, we've tried to put it all up, catalogs on the web, our, you know, food yeah. ads on the web. He said, it just doesn't work for us. That's the, we're great retailers. Yeah, that's what exactly. we do. We're yeah. good retailers.